Back in 2003, I had to give a, a talk to a group of school employees. I was the coordinator for school health in a health department in North Central Florida. Anyway, we had over 30 schools. We had quite a few students who were diabetics and we needed to instruct the health clinic assistants. There were not nurses in each school. There were just trained assistants. So we would give them a basic overview of everything possible that could happen to a student in school. Anyway, and during this talk, they all met um, in a building. And um, I spent a few days uh, doing this report on, on diabetes and trying to make it very, very simple because it is simple, but it takes a while to understand it. So I'm going to go over my notes. What lowers blood glucose? I don't know why people say blood sugar. Glucose is the basic form of sugar after it, it gets in the body. Anyway, the things that will lower your blood glucose is exercise, eating a high fiber diet, you know, like brown rice instead of white rice. Drinking water. Insulin, of course. Um, oral medications that lower your blood sugar, of course. A low carbohydrate diet. And having the ideal weight. Now, on the other hand, what raises blood glucose? sweet and starchy foods, stress, yes, stress, illness, because that's a type of stress, uh, something called a glycogen injection. This is what we do in an emergency when somebody's blood sugar is very low, dangerously low, and we keep that on hand in the schools. Estrogen can also raise your blood glucose. Obesity, a sedentary lifestyle, not being active, a low fiber diet, dehydration, and low insulin levels. Because your doctor might prescribe you insulin, and maybe you've been off your diet, so the insulin he prescribed is just not enough to lower your blood glucose to a normal level. So with diabetes, it's the body having a problem using the glucose, which it needs for energy. Glucose comes from starches, sugars, fruits, carbohydrates. Starch is an old-fashioned word for carbs. The body cannot use glucose without a hormone called insulin. In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas is not making enough insulin. In type 2 diabetes, the cells of the body are resisting the insulin. This is usually seen with obesity and with an inactive lifestyle that I mentioned. If you had diabetes before 1921, it was pure and simple a death sentence because insulin had not been found yet in an injectable form where they, they just didn't think of doing that. So in 1921, it was discovered how to take insulin from the pancreas of animals and inject it into humans. When the glucose cannot be used by the body where it's needed for energy, it stays in the blood. And since there are high concentrations of glucose circulating in the blood, the blood becomes thicker. Think of a little vial of water and you add a bunch of table sugar to it it's going to get thick. It's the same thing. And this is why the person would naturally feel thirsty because the body is trying to dilute 
all that um, high sugar blood so it can flow easier. And of course you would be urinating more because the body's trying to get rid of all that glucose. Those are the classic symptoms of diabetes. Thirst and urinating. You might get up 10 times in one night. That would be the, one of the first symptoms. Um, blood sugar, a high blood sugar can also cause nausea. Think of how you feel after a big holiday dinner, how you're just you're just exhausted and slightly nauseous. Um, that means your blood sugar is high. If it becomes too high and the glucose is not entering the cells of the body for energy, the body starts using fat for energy. When fat is used, ketones appear in the urine. So that's another sign that your blood sugar is high if ketones are in the urine. These uh, were tested using small sticks dipped in the urine. High blood sugar causes the red blood cells to be sticky and they can block small blood vessels. Think about the tiny capillaries in your eyes and your kidneys and in many parts of the body. This is very dangerous. Eventually, if this goes on for a long time, it can cause blindness, nerve damage, kidney disease, even kidney failure, and of course high blood pressure. That's the first page of my report, and I will plan to put the second and third page in another video.